All right. Good morning, everybody. See the little recording light in the corner. Means we're All right. We left off yesterday. The goal today, I'm going to try and finish hopefully within 45 minutes to get us um, to turn the page uh, on Vav Amun Beis. So at least we'll be a half blot, quote unquote, ahead until all of a sudden most of the Yontif will be three blots behind. Um, I assume that we'll go after the early minion um, on, uh, is it Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday, I guess, right? Tuesday. So which will be, once again, 8 o'clock or something, right? 8.15. Um, or, excuse me, 7.15, your time. 8.15, my time. Fine. All right. Zuck, the Mishnah, the Mishnah says, so we go ahead and we combine shkala, we break it, we, we, we basically uh, exchange money for uh, dar, uh, darkonios, which are more expensive uh, golden coins, approximately four to one, and turn the master's out of that in order to make the load easier because they would have to bring the coins to Yushalayim. So, right, much easier transferring, you know, dollar bills than quarters or, you know, large coins versus small coins. And just like they had show for us these 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 uh, boxes to go ahead and uh, collect the money uh, in, 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 by the base mikdash, they also had outside medinas, right, and out of town they used to go ahead and collect there, and then over there they would transfer at some point to Yushalayim. If the people that went ahead they send their shalom, and then along the way they sent it with a messenger. And then along the way, either got stolen or lost, eat these drama hachuma, if the truma was already taken. Now, remember, we, we spoke uh, yesterday a little bit, or in the last couple of days, about it. at some point, they go ahead and they take the funds and they use the funds for the karbonos, right? They said it was done at the beginning of Nisan, which is before uh, Pesach, and then also they did it again before Shavuos and before Sukkot. So, and then we said it, it could be because there were later coins that were coming that weren't there yet. So, if they didn't go ahead and so if they took the was they, they gave the money, all right, people gave the money. And then while they gave the money, they took the truma, all right? They took the truma, they were tyrim, right? Then it was stolen, nishvayin li gizbarim. Basically, they swear to the gizbarim. And therefore, the people, they say, look, you know, we didn't steal it. We didn't do anything wrong with it. And the people are yose, because wherever the money is, when they take the truma, right? The truma is mean they take the money and you can go ahead for purchase of animals, when they take the truma, when they're timing, right, that includes all monies, even the money that hasn't arrived yet. So therefore, if people gave their money, right, out in Tel Aviv, right, that money is included. So therefore, these people already, is it's counted like they gave their money, just, you know, hectish had someone break, you know, steal money from them. So they brought the imlav. And however, if the truma was not taken yet, they gave money and they started to transport and let's say they, tra- they were transporting and add that before the truma was taken, then the messengers swear to the people of the city, and the people go have to go ahead and pay again. They have to pay again because remember, they, when they, they, by the time it was coming to take the truma, their money was already gone. So therefore their money wasn't included yeah, and therefore they have to go ahead and give uh, uh, money. Now, if they found the money or if it was returned by the ganavim, that money that they they went ahead and repaid it, and all of a sudden it turns out that hey, we didn't really need to. So nevertheless, the money that they gave and the replacement are both considered shkalim and ain't island lahan l'shanaba. And you can't just say that oh, okay, well you know I paid double this year, so I'm part of next year. That doesn't work like that. The money stays with them. Now, zuck the gemara the asu is my goals on our state. So you say go ahead and make a larger coins. I have, I have an idea. Go ahead, make it into a pearl. Right, so go ahead and buy a pearl with it or a diamond or whatever it is. Right, those are much smaller. Right, it'll be much lighter of a load. So, the answer is now It turns out that perhaps the pearl will go down in value and therefore the hektish will lose out. Like we learned over there, so and everything can all go ahead and all the monies can be redeemed with money or with something equal to money, except for shkal. Shkalim are not allowed to go ahead and be redeemed for anything that's not like a minted coin, right? Uh, and you can't go ahead and redeem with Caleb. So, why is that? Because it turns out that if, if it goes to change its value, then Hefzit might go ahead and lose out. So, therefore, they use these minted coins, which was the Darkonos. And Uvhaka, so to over here, Nami Shema Tazu Hamar goes, we didn't say Hashem Asa. So to just say over there, we don't use Kalim. So to over here, we don't use a pearl or a diamond or whatever it is, because that might also, you know, lose its value. And therefore, Hekdish will go ahead and lose out. Or uh, Bitcoin, right? I guess you can't use Bitcoin. So Masnisen, Vetiklin Chadatin, Ababasiklin, Atikin, Loibidon. 
right? And I'm sure we're talking about the new shkal, right? When it, however, when it comes to the old shkal, there is, um, you know, they, they don't have uh, this rule. They don't go ahead and collect for people making back to pay old shkal. Danny Kane and Soto said, Atikim Bamikdash, Vena Tikim Bamikdash, the Medina, right? There's only the, the old ones in the Mikdash, but not in the Medina. In other words, there wasn't really money collected for the Atikim for the old collection. It was people missed, right? The people missed the, their, their payments, so they had to go ahead and, and, and repay it. It doesn't just go with new funds, it goes with separate funds that are for old Shkala. Now, we talked about a case where they had to go ahead and swear these messengers. So if the Torah was taken, they swear to the, to the treasurers, to the Gizbarim. And if it wasn't taken, they, then they swear to the townspeople. Townspeople say, okay, well, we got to pay again because our money was stolen and therefore not. So we're talking about the people who says, you know, people who volunteer and say, I'll go ahead and bring the money to the Mikdash. However, Aval, but if the guy was a paid watchman, then he doesn't just get away with making a shua and then he's being potter. And Amar Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Afilu Tamer Shemir Sakhar, right? Even if he's able to talk about the case of a guy was a paid watchman, he never been released in Mizuyan. Maybe we're talking about a case of where the case was stolen. It wasn't a negligence, but rather it was stolen by armed robbers. Therefore, even if a person is a paid watchman, if he swears that the people were armed, there's nothing he can do is a complete onus, he would be potter. And Abdu, so to Abdu, right? So it was lost. What do I mean? But Misha Tavas Nasibiyam. Also, some sort of accident, like his uh, ship uh, sank at sea. Therefore, um, uh, it's a complete accident. He could swear, even if he's a Shomer Sachar, uh, to get out of it. And Amar, uh, Rabbi Yusti, by Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Simon, also command the Amar Terminal of Gavoli Venasi Legavos, right? Our Mish just talk about a case of um, those who hold that that which we go ahead and we they, they take the Truma is only on that which is already collected. In other words, if they go ahead and be Tarim on the first of Nisan, if I give my money late on the fifth of Nisan, five days later, it, it was not included in that truma, right? That, that my, my funds are not included. It doesn't include those funds which in the future will, will go ahead and, and be given, right? And Baram, however, command them or a tarmen lo al gavoli velo al asi legavos lo right? However, according to the other one who says that uh, also on those that um, even the ones that, you know, the ones that money did not come yet, the Irish doesn't go like that opinion, right? This opinion holds that the only way that your money is covered is if it actually is by the Mikdash, the time over when the term happens, but our mission is not going like that. And now he said, the Bnei Ir, Shalchas Shikleim, Tudas, Amar, Rabbi Lazar, so he says, Rabbi Shimon, this opinion of Rabbi Shimon, the Rabbi Shimon Amar, he says, Kodshim Shehu, Chaye Bachar Yaisan, Benachasin He, right? So he says, so now remember, so they have to go ahead and swear, so the kudshim that he, in other words, the uh, kudshim that someone is still chayef for, in other words, my, let's say I have an obligation to go ahead and bring something. So if it's not brought yet, that's kudshim is my responsibility. It's uh, considered to be like um, uh, uh, I have an achrayis to it. So therefore, in this case, that's the reason our mission is going according to Rabbi Shimon, who holds that unless until the money goes ahead and gets there, right, was, if I say, okay, this is my machs is a shekel, okay, and I put it down, okay, and then... I walk away, right? And then it gets lost, whatever it is, I, I lose it, right? So there's a svara to say that, okay, I gave Max a shekel and okay, this is now hectishes because hectic can be acquired wherever it's at. And if it gets lost, it gets lost on, on hectishes, you know, on, on their dollar and I'm putter from, you know, from ever paying it again. According to Rabbi Shimon, no. If I say this is hectic and I put it right here, yes, it is, does belong to hectic, but I have to make sure it gets to hectic. It doesn't get to hectic, I got to make sure at least another coin, another max gets there. So this is the opinion of Rabbi Shimon. And Amr Rabbi Yechan, Rabbi Yechan says, no, this is according to everybody. Why? Because uh, we're talking about a case. What's the reason why they have to go ahead and make a shvua that? You know, that it was stolen or lost and, and they, they weren't uh, irresponsible, you know, they were responsible. It's a shvua that people, if people know they have to go ahead and make a shvua and be careful when they deliver it, they'll be more careful when, uh, you know, doing it. And therefore, since they know to make a shvua, they'll, they'll uh, transfer more carefully. And I'll die to Rabbi Yechen Icha. So if you hold like Rabbi Yechen, who said we're calling it Divrei Kol and this shvua we're talking about is a shvua Zerabana and it works out good. Why? Because he makes a he makes a shvua to the treasurers, right? Either he makes a shvua to, to, to the treasurers if they read the retirement and says, okay, hey, the money was stolen, but you guys already took it, and he swears to them. Or if the money wasn't being tarim yet, he swears to the go at the people of the city, right? Turn the page. However, uh, so he said, uh, what second? Right, uh, um, right. And the people of the city go ahead and they they make they you know they have to go ahead and pay again. And because over here, this is a shvuas takana, it's not a real shvuah. 
Ella Rabbi Lazar, according to Rabbi Lazar, who says that's the opinion of Rabbi Shimon, that what she said, he swears to the people of the city because, according to Rabbi Shimon, and other words, Rabbi Shimon holds that it's because that uh, Rabbi Shimon was the one who said that Kachim, a person's always responsible wherever it's at, even if it's a receiver, he has to pay it again. So, he's barim, he's barim, I have to why is he making a shivu to this gizbarim? Now he makes a shivu to the treasurer, right? That okay, the money was was lost or stolen after you guys retire. Now normally, when you go ahead and swear to the gizbarim, it's not like the treasurers have to go ahead and now okay, you swore to me that uh, it was stolen, so therefore I have to go ahead and, and repay it. The gizbarim aren't paying anything, right? The treasurers don't pay anything. So what is the point of the shivu? The shivu doesn't really make sense. So therefore, no. What does it mean? It means nishbain lebenayir b'maimad gizbarim. He swears to the townspeople, right? He swears to the townspeople that what happened. And therefore, in front of the Gizbarim, says your money was stolen, right? And he, they do it as, as proof in front of the treasurers. And why do they do that? Right? In order that the people should not be chayish and say, oh, these people stole our, you know, they, they, the the tenant was stolen, but really they just pocketed the money, right? Or they won't be, uh, you know, people won't be patient. They won't be negligent in the future. So therefore they'll be more responsible. So therefore that's the reason the Shavua, according to Rebbe Lazar. And even though the people, right, um, that they were to go ahead and pay, right, they still have to go ahead and pay. Why? Because hektish is not does not go out without a, without a shvua. In other words, these people make a shvua that um, uh, you know that the shvua was lost or stolen, and therefore then it goes ahead and pays. Right. And once again, this is like sort of like a fragmented gemara. This is what we've been saying uh, uh, until now. And he frees shu shikla But let's say a person's mafresh his shekel and then he loses it. Rabbi Yechon Amar Chayv Yafiyoy. So Ad Shem Sernal the Gizbar. Right, Rabbi Yechonan says he hides to go ahead and replace it. Like in the case I mentioned before, he puts the hectic, he puts his, his down, right, and then he, he loses it. So uh, Rabbi Yechonan says he has to go ahead and, and pay it, right? I, and you know he has he's obligated until it reaches the hands of the Gizmar Shimon. But Lakish Shemir Hektish B'Shus Gaboa B'Chol Malkom Shimon. No, it belongs to Hektish wherever it's at. And therefore, if I leave it in my house, right, and my house gets broken, it don't get stolen. So that's the Hektish loses out. And Masnisa Pligi Al Shimon Lakish. Our Mishnah, however, argues on Rabbi Shimon Lakish. Why? Because we say over here that even though the money gets lost and the, and the, the Torah was never taken, so the people have to go ahead and pay again. But if you hold that it's Hektish's mummy wherever it's at, so you say, okay, Hektish had a loss or stolen. It's not on my dime. So therefore, our Mishnah, not, uh, uh, perhaps is not going like Rabbi Shimon Lakish is going, only like Rabbi Yechanan. And Gemara says, no. No, maybe you can say it's a Shavuot Takana. Really, it's not a Shavuot. Really, he, MSC really, really wouldn't be Chayv. The reason is because Shavuot Takana, that they don't, maybe that in order that these people are, uh, um, uh, they're, they're cleared and the people know that if they lose it, they're going to have to go ahead and swear. Therefore, people will be more careful. And Tani, so we said before, if the people go ahead, okay, we have to go ahead and repay because it was taken before the, the it was ever before the Torah occurred. So we have to go ahead and pay again. So they pay again, and all of a sudden they find the old ones, right? So they both become shkala. So and they remain shekel. So what do you do with it? So the, re, the first ones, the rishonim, which was soon defined, go to the into the the, the chest of the new shkala, right, with all the other ones from all the people. Bashnim, the other ones, naifel and tikla and those go to the old shkala, which are left over, which other areas we'll, we'll discuss later on in the masechta as to which monies goes in those boxes. And elayin and shunav elayin and rishonim. So which ones are considered the first ones, the second ones? So pinchas ben rabbiya. Right, one says it's the those who, the ones that were sent first. The one who was sent first and got lost. Those are called the Rishonim. So those ones go into the the, the shekel chadashim, right? Chadatin, right? The Charon and the other one says the one that gets to the gizbarim first. So no, 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 the one that got to the treasure, which was the second one they were given because those got the treasure first before the others were ever found, and those are go to the shkalim chaditim. Right. Nine Mishnah. Mishnah says, Mishnah and Hey Amad Beis. So it says, Hanaisei Shikla lechavera lishka al yado. Guy gives his friend. I go ahead. I give. Uh, the mayor gives me his shekel to go ahead and give uh, his shekel for him. I'm such a good friend. I went ahead and I took it and I said, oh, guys, this is for me. Right? I didn't say this is for mayor. I said, this is, yeah, Yoel Goldberg is paying his maxes of shekel. So, Ini Stromu Hatrumo. If now, when I went ahead and, and, and 
So you gave me it. To, it gave, you gave me the coin, right, on, on, on Sunday, right? Then they were tearing the truma, right? They, they, were, they retook, you know, the, the, the amount for the carbonos then. And then I gave it in soon afterwards. So um, I am over Meila. Right? Why? Because this money was really included in the Torah when it was in my hands, right? And then I'm going ahead and using it for my own benefit, saying, hey, mark it off, Yo Goldberg paid. So therefore, I'm Chayev Me'ilo, the Gemal asked in this case, and Hashaykel Shikla Mena Hektesh, one who goes ahead and he, uh, he gives money, uh, uh, he takes the shekel from Hektesh, that's what he's saying was set aside to be Hektesh, and accidentally he uses it instead of me taking mayor's money, giving it as my master's shekel. I had Hektesh in my house. I had money I designated for the for the mikdash or the kabbais, whatever it was, and I went ahead and said, "Okay, here's my master's shekel." Then he saw my truma, the care of the and then they went ahead and they returned the truma. They they separated the money and then they offered an animal. We'll soon see that this off, offering the animal is included really in the first part of the mission also. So not only did they take the truma, but they also offered the animal. Right? They they offered ready the first animal from the monies from the new monies. Then mal. Then I have done meila. Why is that? Because his money was hektish, and now. All right, I want to go ahead and use that money as um, as the machzis ha shekel. Fine. And ma'isa sheni midei shvi. So let's say a person goes ahead and he takes money from ma'isa sheni. Right, he had this ma'isa sheni. He went ahead and he put it into money. He right? to take the money, use it to purchase for Yerushalayim, or uh, he had money for shvi's. Right, that was uh, money from uh, shmita, which has to be used on right or during shmita. Right, so all those things. Yechel Kenegdan, right? He has to go ahead and eat, use that money to basically use that money to eat. We'll soon see what that means in the Gemara. So let's see. Zak the Gemara. So Hashaykel, the Chule, so Anan Tanina. So we learn over there in Kerba, Habehema, the Su, Debe, Rabbi, Rabbi, in Sarma Truba. One case, as I mentioned before, right? One case we said says if the Torah was taken, right? In the case of the ratio, right? It says, it only it only said if the Torah was taken, right? In the case of in the case of you know Mayor giving me his box of shekel, but then in the case of the hektish, it says if the Torah was taken and an animal was offered. So which one is it, right? It's really the same halacha. The same halacha is if the truma was taken and then that money was included in it. So then I, I'm violating the ewa. So does the animal have to be offered or not, right? So our answer is matana even some truma. So who's the one who holds that he struck my truma if the truma was taken without mentioning the animal at all? So that's Rabbi Shimon. He Rabbi Shimon. He says that no, they, when they would designate the money, they wouldn't even just take out the money and let, let it sit there. Basically, what they would do is they would, the money would be designated, but they wouldn't take that money and pay you know those people to go ahead and pay for the animals until the animal was ready to out there to be sacrificed. All right. So it wasn't like the money was taken out and it was just sitting you know with hektish. The minute, the moment when it was used, it was used immediately. Therefore, you know that if Nisrama Truma, then the animal was offered, and therefore they would do it right away, and there was nothing to be uh, suffix. So it's really the same case. The Kasha was a Kasha. Ila so Shavero Shafko Stam. So let's say someone, I go ahead and I steal someone's Ola, right? So uh, Alan, who I see here, right? So Alan goes ahead, he has an animal he set aside as Ola. Right, so uh, and I go ahead and I take his old and I offer it. Right, I offer it. Right, stop a loyal shame. Bala, my shem nechaperes. Right, is it not Alan's his carbon and it counts as his ola? Right, so why if Mayor gives me his Max's shekel, can I just go ahead and change it? And all of a sudden, hey, this is Yol Goldberg's. That's not Yol Goldberg's. Right, this is Mayor's. Right, how, how do I go ahead and change it? So Rabbi Yudin, Tifatim Masuim. We're talking about a case where his Masuim was very identif- uh, identifiable uh, coin that was used for Max shekel. And in other words, Michelle Rabbi Gamliel is the same, the house of Rabbi Gamliel, they used to do the same thing, Shayim is Kavi, the Vedeifa, the Sai, Ha Kupa, they used to go ahead and basically push this to the front so that there was a very noticeable coin. So it would be recognized that this was their Machsis Shekel, their Machsis Shekel was, was, they liked to have it on the top as soon as they, later on, and it was used. So to over here, since it's identical, oh, this is Yoel Goldberg's coin. So this is, therefore, since I'm going ahead and it's, it's uh, ident- uh, identifiable that this is mine, therefore, it's considered to be. Like I, I removed the mayor's machzis shekel and had my shame on it. Right, so I understand. But maybe we should go ahead. That perhaps the money will end up right. It will not be used. It'll go to the shirayim, right? And then the chi yesh miilo b'shirayim, right? And can you have miilo by shirayim? In other words, if it's not used, right? Um, uh, if it's not used, then it, um, then there is no miilo. Right, so only in Kovetz, El Elikar Mayor, 
right? Only Rameir is the one who holds this Shiraim. In other words, that when all the coins are collected, not all of them are used, right? There's access funds, right? So only the ones that are used, that's where the money was going to be used. And therefore that was where the meal is. But some of them end up at the Shiraim, right? So who no, only Rabbi Meir holds as their Shiraim. So how do we explain the Mishnah like, like Rabbi Meir? Or maybe we do, or maybe we don't. And the Gora says, no, oh, Diva Masuyam, once they were talking about sandwiches, Masuyam. And they're just like Rabbi Gamil used to go ahead and basically put it in the front and they would go ahead and use his. So in other words, it's such a case. Um, so to in this case, the, the money was not uh, the right? The money was Masuyam. And since the money was seen, it was used, right? My money was was used. Therefore, I was violating Mila when they used my money. And man, so what's that? No, so I'm Rabbi Yam, Mishem, Rabbi Yam, the Tama. So they said over there, Mikhail and Shabazz didn't really know the Mashke, the Mishkano, Kamoshin, and so what's the Hana? The Hana is that since the base then has the ability to go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and take collateral for me if I don't go ahead and pay my check. Also, therefore, when I say you will go over pays, they're no longer to go ahead and seize any of my assets. But then we said, when my Sashani person goes ahead and pays money for my Sashani or from Shemitah, he has to go ahead and eat Kenegdo, we'll see what that is. So the Chesidah Pasuk says, Ach Bechor, Asher Yevuchar Lashem, Behema Lo Yakish Ish Oso. The Bechor, right, that belongs to Hashem, right, you cannot go ahead and be Makdish it. So we see that it already has its Kedusha. Once something has its Kedusha, right, you can't use it for something else. So, so, so over here, once you have the, the Kodesh, you know the Kedusha. So once it has the Kedusha of, of Meisr Shani or Kedusha of, uh, of Dmei Shmi, uh, Shmita, therefore, Machzit Shekel, um, you can't go ahead and use it for that. Now, Kate said, oh, so what does he do? So maybe Sela Shachulan, he brings the Sela of Chulan, Vaymer, and he says, most Meisr Shani, Bechol Malkam Shain. So he says, wherever my money of uh, Meisr Shani is, those should be those should be deconsecrated upon this cell of this coin. And therefore, this cell now has the kedusha of my sheni. And therefore, the other money that he gave, that money uh, has uh, uh, is shkalim, and therefore that was being given to shkalim. Fine. Next mission. Nine mission. Like I said, this is right tomorrow's daf, but we got to go ahead and keep learning because uh, we're going to miss a lot over yantiv. Now, zok the mishnah. A person goes ahead and he gathers some coins, right? He gets some coins. These are going to be from a my machzis shekel. And it turns out there's more, right? There's more than it's really required. So, they, so what do you do with the extra funds? So, the extra funds go as an adava. They remain hectic and it goes as an adava. They sell oimrim. Um, I started chulin. No, those that money is chulin, right? It was extra, right? You, you, let's say the value was five dollars, and I gave all these coins. It was seven dollars and twenty-three cents. Two dollars and twenty-three cents comes back to me, right? I don't have to give anymore. Uh, but if he says shavi mehen shikli, if a person gathers money to the seven dollars and twenty-three cents, and says I will pay my shekel from these funds. So everybody agrees, Shavin and Shemaisa agrees that the overage is Chulin, right? Why is that? Because he just said, I'm going to pay from these funds, right? From these funds will come whatever my, whatever my obligation is. Not all of these funds are my obligation, right? From these funds. So therefore, the, the overage, the, the extra is, goes, Chulin, he can put it back in his pocket. Similarly, he says, a guy does a, a Veira, he has to bring a Chatas, and he says, Elu Chatasi, these are for my Chatas. So Shavin, Shemaisa, and Adava, everyone agrees the extra is an Adava. All right, uh, everyone agrees that even uh, Beis Hill agrees that the next, if he says these monies are for my chatas animal, that the chatas animal costs 100 bucks and he, it was $120. So the extra $20 remains in a duffel. And the will explain what the difference is. And Shavi man chatas, but if he glad there's $120 and he says, I will bring from here my chatas, shove it. Everyone agrees, shove it. Everyone agrees that if there's $100 and the other $20 is chul. And I'm Rabbi Shimon. What's the difference between Shekel has a kitzva. There's a set amount for a, chat, for, for a shekel. Whatever the max of shekel is that year, there's a set amount. It doesn't change. right? So therefore, that I only have to pay that. But when it comes to chatos, I can buy a $100 animal. I can buy a $150 animal. I can buy a $200 animal. I can do, right? There is no set amount. So therefore, if I happen to use only some of the funds, the other funds are a nadav. Rabbi Yudo Amir says, no, I'll shekel them in the kitzva. Right? So he said, no, even Shkalim, they don't have a Kizuk. Why? When they came originally from the Galus in the beginning, they gave their Konos, right? Which is a pretty expensive currency. And then they went there and they took the Sela, um, 
they used the sella for their machzor shekel. In other words, it was the same amount of coin, but it was a little small in value. And chazal l'shko tevayin. And then they went uh, and, and used uh, tevayin, which is uh, even half of that. And bishal l'shko dinarav. And then they went ahead and wanted to even go ahead and uh, further later on to give uh, everyone will give a dinar as their machzor shekel below kiblu man. But however, that was too small. They did not allow them to go ahead and give that little. And Amr Rabbi Shimon, Afa Pichai, nevertheless, Yad Kula Shavim. Nevertheless, everyone has to give the same amount, right? Whatever it is, whatever it is for that year, whether it's expensive, it's not expensive, everyone has to give us uh, the same amount. About Chatas, when it comes to Chatas, Zem Yivisela, Zem Yivishtayim, Zem Yivishosh. When it comes to Chatas, a person can be for one that has one seller, one can be two, three. So um, we see that it does fluctuate when it comes to a Chatas. Fine. Zok the Gemara. So Hamachani is we're talking about a case where he gathers the money, right? That was the, the case in the Mishnah. So Rabbi Yaisi b'Shem Rabbi Lazar says Maflik. What's Maflik is here? B'Mechanis, B'Mechanis, Prutz wrote right when he goes ahead and takes it piece by piece, right? He says, okay, he gathers a coin here, then he gets another coin here. You know, over time he gathers all these coins to go ahead and be his 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 payment. That's the Maflik of the Mishnah between Beis Hillel and Beis Shammai when it comes to the Shkalim. But if he goes ahead and takes a big handful of coins and he says, okay, this will be my shekel, everyone agrees that the extra amount is in the double because he says all of this is going to be by my, my shekel, even though there's extra. And Rabbi Chia, the Rabbi Bibi, the shame Rabbi Lozer says, no, my plea. You want to think, we have a mechanism for broke, uh, 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 broke roads, right? We're talking about a case of when they gather it, broke roads, right? With the peace field. And Rabbi Aimea, Eilu Shkali, when they say, this is my shekel, Everyone agrees that the extra is chulit, right? Because he only obligated to give, like we said, let's say five dollars and not seven dollars. So therefore, the extra two dollars is not uh, does not become uh, uh, kedushas shkal, and amar uh, or it doesn't become uh, has to go to the double. And amar Rebbe Chia says, "Machia masnisen masai le Rebbe Bibi." So the, our Mishnah really is a proof for Rebbe Bibi, which was the second opinion. Right, which was the second opinion that says that if he says all this, that it goes to Chulin. Why? The time we learned Mishnah, Amr Rabbi Shimon Ma Bein Shkal and Chatas says Rabbi Shimon was a Shkal. What's the difference between Shkal and Chatas? Elisha Shkal Mi Yishlam Kitzvah Chatas and Kitzvah. Then the Shekel does has a set amount and a and a Chatas doesn't. So Mani Kayamin. So what are you talking about? Im Be Amir Shavim Hen Shikli. If he says I'm going to go ahead and bring my Shekel from them, Kolam Amayid Shimon Sarda Chulin. Everyone agrees I'm going to bring it from them. So therefore. Everyone agrees that the leftover is chul. And in biyom yeshavim mehen chatasi. Also, if he says, if I'll bring it from my uh, from the mechatas, chol amu moedi shemu yisrael chul. And everyone agrees that the leftover is chul. And he says, from here, I will bring my chatas. Ella. So rather, what are we talking about? So can I not come in? What are we talking about a case? But oimer elishigli. When he says, right, when he takes, goes ahead and takes a handful, and he says, these are my shkalim, right? Now, according to Rabbi Bibi, he says that uh, in this case, the extra would be chulim. So let's see. So, so he says, So But according to the case of Shekel, since over there, there is a set amount, right, which the Torah obligates one to give. Right? So therefore, the extra is chulim. And chatas, I, uh, but it comes to a chatas, right, since there is no set amount, therefore, the extra is a nedava, all right. And so, so uh, therefore, we see this case that is chulin, uh, right? Even in court. So, so ma ova la Rabbi Yosi b'shem Rabbi Elazar. So, what does Rabbi Yosi b'shem Rabbi Elazar say about this, right? Now, was how would he answer this? Because according to Rabbi Yosi b'shem Elazar, right, he was the one who said that it goes as um, uh, in this case only once all together it goes as a nedava. So he says. Um, so positive law, you explain the case of mechanes the prutra do basil, right? He says no. When you go ahead and you take it, right, one by one, and it goes according to uh, base hillel that it does become uh, chulin. Fine. And then in vala tanina ma'isa shkalim chulin, but the mishnah says, right? We'll see. Uh, 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 I guess in the next blot it says over there that the extra is chulin. So he says once again, Pazle, you'll and also explain that case. When you take it little by little, it's like Basil that says, bit since he already had enough and he took it piecemeal, he didn't take it all together. Therefore, um, it, it would be, it would, does not become hectic. He doesn't have to give it as an adaba. The extra money is cool and it can remain his. 
What about this case? A person goes ahead and sets aside a shekel. He forgot he gave earlier, right? He forgot he gave right away day one. So he put he sets money aside, right? For his he thinks it's chayv. says it's a chayv. Like he it's not chayv that she knows. You can go ahead and put it back in your pocket because uh, it was done uh, erroneously. And I'm not shnayv a sever shuchayv shnayv. Let's say a guy thinks he owes two for whatever reason from previous years, so he gives two. The name says Shenim Chayv Elachad is only Chayv One. Oisa Shenim My Avile. What does he do with that one? So Nishmasi Mina Mina Da. Let's learn from over here. If he's Chatos of a Sefer Shul Chayv, the name says Shenim Chayv. The person separates a Chatos. He thinks he's obligated to to bring a Chatos, and then if it turns out that he is not Chayv a Chatos or Lokatsha, so that the animal is not Kodesh. Right, and he fish time is sever shuch chayv time. That person sets aside two animals because he thinks he has to bring two animal chatas. The insa shenu chayv lachas. Turns out that Allah is you only have to bring one. Oisa shnia ma at avidei. So the second one is you do it. Elaroya that one has to go ahead and and, and graze until it develops a womb and redeem it. So you see that by when it comes to a chatas, right, that luchayr there is kedusha. So um, so hachinami elu nadava. Right. So so to over here. That will go as an adava. So we see in this case, right, that in this case of he, he had two, but it really is only chayv one, not zero. He was chayv one. Therefore, there would be kedusha, and therefore that goes to an adava, just like the animal had kedusha, and we say it has to go ahead and graze until it develops a gnome, and then you go ahead and redeem it. Right? Uh, so how can you say that in the case of these, right, that it goes over here, that the money... Uh, they're over here uh, in, in our case that when he says these are my shekel so that the, that it goes to Chulin right so why should it go to Chulin if we see that maybe it should go right? when I have extra money it's no different person sets aside two than one so it's actually a, a kasha what we just said before because if I go ahead we said if you owe one or anything you owe two so the extra goes to Nadova it should be the same thing if I have a handful Right, and I think it all is shkalim, and only some of it is shulachara. The money should stay in dava and not become chulim. Fine, two dots. And uh, Rabbi uh, Yuda Oiver of the So he said up there, darkonos. So the darkonos of the time was the dinarim. Those were dinarim. Those are golden dinarim. Chazer lishko slime, and then they switched with the darkonos um, to slime. Uh, Kashmuan and Sela is their name, like they're called Salaim and Khazalishko uh Tivai. And then they went ahead and they wanted to go ahead and give the Tivain, which is even less half of that. And Talge Salaim, right? Because the Tivain were uh half uh Sela and Big Shalishko did and then they wanted to do even uh, a half of that, which would be a quarter of a Sela, and those were uh Kratim, and as we said, were those in uh, eventually were not low kibo they had and those were not accepted to use those were too small. Why is that? I mean, I doubt from Spasik says I mean they know. Mitzvah says so. Leinu shlishi is hashakel, but shana lavoda is based on the case. So it says over there that they wanted to make a small amount. They said no, only up to a third of a. Am I still here? You're back. All right. Sorry about that. All right. Um, you just kind of cut off at the end. Did it just get cut off at the end? Right. So we said a third was the last thing. What is it? A third was the last thing. Oh, so yeah. So he said only up to a third, not a quarter. So anything below a quarter, that was not enough to be considered the machs of the shekel. It had to be at least a third of a cella. But you do see there is some fluctuation. But the rule is everyone gives the same amount. And we learned from this. Rabbi Chilke B'Shem Rabbi Achka says, We see over here that a person should go ahead and give Right, give three at least three contributions a year, right? Three uh, payments. And also, when you go ahead and you fundraise, you don't have it all the time. You don't fundraise more than three times, right? In Amr Rabbi Yavin, Mikan the Shlosh Sayin. And over here, we have we see that they give three uh, three saw Mikan the Shlosh Kupos and three separate uh, boxes for collection. Mikan Shlosh Hefresh. There's also three times they separate. Um, the, um, the the money for the sh- uh, shekel and Kasev it says over there is that and it says over here that they will go ahead and give whoever is, is counted in the census and Rabbi Yehuda Rabbi Chania is Machlozin Rabbi Yehuda Chania Chad Omar Lefisha Chadu Machzis Hayyim since they went ahead and they sinned in the middle of the day Yidn Machzis Shekel so their Machzis Shekel is basically because of the Chet Egel right. And Chad Omar no Lefisha Chad to B'shei Shos Bayom. Since they they sinned in the sixth hour of the day, those mistakes six hours right that is coming down. Yidnu Machzis Shekel. 
the Ovid Shita Garmisin. They should go ahead and give a Machsa Shekel, right? Because that is six Garmisin, right? Six Garmisin make up a Machsa Shekel. And Rishu Bey, Rechem Yabashem Rabbi Yechem and Zachai says, Lefisha Ovra Al Seres Dibro, since they violated the Ten Commandments, the Seres Dibro, see, Nice Kalach Yechel Asar Gera. Each one should go ahead and give Ten Gera, right? Which comes out to uh, a Machsis, uh, I guess a whole Shekel is 20 Gera, and therefore Machsis is 10 Gera. Right, and Rabbi Brachab, Rabbi Levi Shem, Rabbi Shimon Lakish says, Lefisha Machra Bechayr Shah Rachab Esrim Kesef, since they went ahead and they sold Yosef, right? different of Vera, not the Vera Chedego, but really for the selling of, uh, of Yosef. So since they sold the Bechor of Rachab Esrim Kesef for 20 silver, Yeh Kalachav Yechad Paydez Benav Bechayr Esrim Kesef. That which we do, Pidyon Aben, right? The Pidyon Aben, the, the five Ma Kesef, right? A uh, person should go ahead and redeem their firstborn for. Um, uh, uh, for the uh, for the Malkasa, right? And then Rabbi Pinchas B'Shem, Rabbi Levi says, "Lefisha Machu B'Charish Sharacha B'Asher Malkasa." Since they said they went ahead and they um, they sold him for twenty kesef, right? Venafal the Kolach Viachem and Taba, and therefore of the twenty, each one basically twenty divided by ten, each one got two Taba. So the Ficha Chiyah Kolach Viachem, nice and Shiklo Taba. Therefore, each the shekel is uh, equal to the to to the Taba. Uh, which was basically payment in lieu where each brother got for the sale of the Mechiras Yosef. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll stop here. Uh, everyone have a wonderful Shabbos and a wonderful Yantif. And Mirza Shem on Tuesday.